just tightening up the tarp a bit here. I think sometimes I don't show knots enough. So I want to show this one to you. This one is when you've got a long line and you're going around a pole or a tree or something like that and you're coming back and now it's like, well, where do I tie this off? Do you tie it off at the tree? Well, sometimes that's a real pain because the tree's full of, you know, scratchy, pokey branches everywhere and you can't really reach in. So you can get around it, but going in and tying off there is a pain. So if you've got a long rope and you come back out on the rope itself, you can tie like right here. And believe it or not, it'll be secure. Just go over and then I'm gonna go over one, two, three more times. So I went over and then I went one, two, three, like that, through. The last time you, instead of just looping through that one line, you go all the way around, poke down through, okay, and pull forward. Now when you do it, what I like to do is take my fingers and just make sure all those little loops I made look nice and round. So they got a real nice look to them, okay? So now I can actually pull this line and slide this knot to make this nice and taut, okay? And that holds it like that. I like to then lock it off. To do that, real, real simple. You know, your normal square knot, just make a square knot, like one, one knot at the end. That's all, just one knot at the end, and then down. And that actually locks it in place. I can constantly move this and tighten it if I need to. There you go. There's a good survival knot for you right there.